Tell me, Captain, what is your experience with nitroglycerin? I know it's used in the production of dynamite, but I've never handled it, sir. Nor should you. It was long regarded too dangerous for any practical use. Highly unstable. One little nudge and... Whoa! The man you will escort tonight is just as volatile. This mission is code zero. For the next 24 hours, you and your team do not exist. The rendezvous point will be determined en route. Once you've acquired the subject, follow his instructions to the letter. The fate of this nation is on your watch tonight, Captain. Understood, sir. Sir, if I may. Ours is the most technologically advanced nation in the world. We have the strongest and most capable military force, bar none. Why should we walk on eggshells for this one man? History, Captain. It shows us that even empires can fall to one man. Son, the man you have to deal with tonight could topple the world. In the next few hours, you're going to get closer to true darkness than any decent soul should have to. It will change you. Those rules I gave you weren't to protect our nation. They're to protect you. All due respect, Colonel. The man sounds like something out of a Greek myth. Are you calling me a liar, Captain? I've seen him with my own eyes. This is no bedtime story. I need a born leader, not some gung-ho brat who thinks he has all the answers because you don't, Captain. You have orders, period. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Landed safely, Mr. Hanma. That's excellent. Where is my helicopter? I don't want to waste any time. Nah. Our strongest elite unit shouldn't be disrespected by a stupid civilian. I don't care who he is. We face greater danger than this every day. He'll see no fear in my eyes. I'll show him that... <gasps> you must be the captain. <sighs> Take me to the Tokyo Dome and try not to wet yourself. <sighs> yes, sir! Just what are you trying to say anyway, Baki? I'm saying you have a propensity for excessive violence and I don't care for it. You only beat men who can't fight back and attempt to kill just for kicks. I can't believe you're Dopo Orochi son. I can't believe you used the word propensity. Look, we destroy each other for a living, Baki. Didn't you get the t-shirt? Or are you sore because I showed some guts out there? Take some advice. Stop living in daddy's shadow. Katsumi Orochi is my next victim. Why are you trying to steal my catch from underneath my nose? Tough. I can tell by the scar on your cheek. I can smell the hate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the ninth match of the first round of our tournament. Please welcome the reigning heavyweight champion of the world, known as the greatest fighter on earth and is here today to prove that American boxing is a true martial art. Hailing from Miami, Florida, USA, the professor of pain, Ola McGregor. His opponent is half Japanese, half Chinese, a former Marine and a master in Taekwondo. He currently resides right here in Tokyo, Moko Lee! The fight is yet to begin, but the staring contest is already underway with both opponents looking primed and ready. What a matchup! Begin! Ah! Oh. Oh. 
He just grazed me in my head spinning. There's no way I can win by trading punches with this guy. Watch out! This is ugly. It's all McGregor can do to keep himself from getting murdered out there. The Marine is very familiar with the vulnerabilities of a boxer, it would seem. Uh, huh? Shinogi. He's smart. Uh. American boxers are trained to fight an opponent standing right in front of them. The attack zone is limited to a space of about two or three cubic feet, depending on each individual's reach. That space is all they're equipped to work with. I see. So as long as Moko stays out of that range, he keeps himself out of danger. Exactly. And Moko appears to be well equipped to attack from the outside. <laughs> it isn't worth it, Olam! Come on, stop the fight! Moko Lee's got McGregor cornered by a wall now! I know you must be hurting. Your legs have never been attacked before. I calculate one more good strong kick will take you out. Permanently. <laughs> Here's to your career! you look at that? McGregor steps back just as the kick comes, and Moko slides uncontrollably into his zone. Then Olam pushes off the fence and he's got him. It's over! What? Who's here? <gasps> you, Jiro. No! Are you here, you Jiro? Are you trying to ruin me? Ah, please, this event is something I've been dreaming of for years. Don't do anything to ambush it. I'm not here to ambush anything. I'm here to make your tournament better. You want the strongest? Your roster's missing a name. Instead, your tournament is filled with dead weight. Huh? Allow me to substitute an inferior fighter with a more deserving one. This man's injured. I have a reserve to take his place. I can't believe I just saw that! Are you certifiable? That's a good man's life you just destroyed! Go get a doctor! Hurry! Huh. You deserved better than this. You were a brave grappler. No one may dispute that. You deserved better. As a fighter, you'll get nothing from me but genuine admiration. But as a man, I don't think there's anything about you worth liking. You have no conscience, Yujiro. You're built like a fortress, but your mind's twisted like an old man's spine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Tokugawa. This boy is you, Amanai. He is my own private student. 
I want him to replace the man I just folded like a suitcase. <sighs> Candidly, I can't say I approve of all this. Coming in here and breaking a man's back to enter a late competitor is unethical. Half of me wants you to just go back to wherever you came from. But a protege of Yujiro and the kid has feelings. I won't disappoint you. I promise. He is the leader of one of Japan's most notorious street kings, the Kurenai. The best fighter you've never heard of, Chiharu Shiva! Listen, Chiharu, just pretend he's one of the Aoi. We took a hundred of them out of one time last spring. The red cloak of the Kurenai is only given to the most respected leaders of all time. Not only is red synonymous with the name Kurenai, but it is representative of the gang's blood oath for brotherhood. Yeah! And standing across the fighting surface is a Japanese judo master. He is none other than Kohei Hatanaka. Hey, judo man. That sure is a nice-looking outfit you're wearing. So, uh, be ashamed to get blood all over it. And I just might use that black belt of yours to choke you. Begin! I'm kicking a miss from Shiva, and it's Hatanaka with a throw. Shiva sent flying. A face first plunge into the ground. Might help if he'd take his hands out of his pockets. Shiva is down. Hmm. Is that it? <laughs> I expected more from you, Black Belt. <laughs> Is that all you got? You're about as soft as your little sister, man. Hmm. <laughs> Disgusting! Hatanaka broke Shiva's arm and it's just... It's just dangling there! Looks like your journey ends here, Shiva. Even a fool can see that you can't win with your arm broken. What do you mean? I'm fine. If you wish to continue, I'll have no choice but to do more damage to your left arm. And after that, I'll break your right arm if I find it necessary. You'll only cause yourself more harm. What is this? Is Shiva giving up? It's broken, Shiva. What are you talking about? Tendons are stretched, flesh twisted, but if it were broken... I couldn't do this! Hey there, Mr. Judo Man. I saved you the trouble and destroyed my arm for you. Now I can show you that I don't need it. Are you ready to stop playing around and start fighting? Let's go! Shiva comes back with a merciless headbutt and the momentum has done a 180. What do you think? Of me now! I told you you were too soft, man! It's over! Shut up, you pimp! Let me go! Let me go! The winner, Chiharu Shiva! And take a look at Shiva's tattoo! It's a three-headed dragon, the symbol of the Kuranai King! Kuranai!
Who wouldn't leave a pretty girl like huh? you all alone? <gasps> Pleased to meet you, Miss Kozue. My name is Jack Zama. He already knows my name. But how? Baki told me. Rumor has it you're his girlfriend. Is that true? <gasps> If I were your boyfriend, I'd quit fighting so I could stay with you. Huh? Just stare into your eyes all day. Those beautiful eyes of yours. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hey, man. What's up? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Hey, relax. I didn't force her to talk to me, man. It's no big deal. Huh? She's only a woman. Hmm? What was that? What's he trying to do? Next up for your entertainment is the 11th pint of the first round. Sure to be a great matchup. Jujiro Hanma! This is quite unexpected! Hanma? Is he related to Baki by any chance? I heard he's the world's strongest creature. People call him the king because he's unbeatable. Really? So this is your father, Baki? He looks like you. <gasps> Begin! This match pits Kingo Misaki using the art of Shorinji Kimpo against a newcomer to the SFC, American wrestling celebrity Mike Queen. Let's see how a master of showmanship fares against a mastered martial artist. Feeling a bit restless, are we? Well, things have changed. With this new eclectic group of fighters, even you can't predict the outcome. The outcome of this fight has already been decided. <laughs> What does that mean? I guess my queen is better suited for fighting with a script than to take on a Kempo master. The winner, Kengo Masaki! I seek mercy for my fallen competitor. I beg that my opponent will have a long and prosperous career and even better life. Uh, what? You have been a most worthy challenger, Mr. Mike Queen. I'd be willing to bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Yujiro! Hey, look! Isn't that Shemuan, the five-category world champion of Mu Thai? Yeah, you're right. Some people say he's the best pound-for-pound -pound standing fighter in the world. <laughs> that dude's fighting Shemuan with just two fingers. Who in the name of Mother Earth could do something like that? That's the king, man. That's your Jiro. Champions are all over the place these days. They hand out titles to everyone now. But your prizes don't speak the truth about you. All the champions aren't worth my time. I'm still not satisfied. It's difficult to resist destroying these incompetent children. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the 12th match of the first round. It's the incomparable Sergio Silva against the maniacal Jack Summer. Uh... 